Hey, I'm Vanessa Hudgens and I'm going to walk you through my skincare routine and a going out look. So first up, always cleanse, 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 even if it's like midday and you're putting on your makeup to go out with your girlfriends, cleanse. Get everything off so you have like a really clear face. I start with my No Beauty Purifying Cleanser. Okay, probably that much. I have like really oily skin. It's always been that way for as long as I can remember. I started breaking out probably around when I was 21 because I discovered wine and cheese. I could not get enough. I was going almost every night to this little wine shop that was so cute and such a vibe and my skin hated it. I mean, dairy, it's the devil. That was like a big reason why I started No Beauty. It's because it's so hard to figure out what your skin needs and with no, with our diagnostics tests, we take all the guesswork out for you. So you know that what you're using is actually right for your skin. My skin looks amazing. It's so nice because I feel like I'm finally at a point where I love my skin. My skin looks the best it's ever looked. When I was trying to figure out my skincare regimen, I was trying so many different brands and I realized because I have such sensitive skin, anything that has a lot of ingredients just does not work well for me. And there's nothing worse than buying a product and being like, okay, this is gonna be great because it does this. And then it does the exact opposite. So next thing, since I'm getting ready to go out, I don't wanna put any serum or oil or anything. That's purely a nighttime thing for me just because I am so oily. I just do a moisturizer and I'm using our no Beauty um, Calming Day Moisturizer. There's CBD in it, so it just like really relaxes the skin, takes away redness. I don't really wear that much makeup on an everyday basis, but being on set, it's just the amount of powder that has to go on because I'm so oily is significant. And so I end up getting clogged pores and breaking out. Okay, so next, after I moisturize and still have that on, I use this thingy. It's called Complex Culture, and it just like really depuffs your skin. Like, I love lymphatic drainage massages. When I did the Fenty show the morning of, I was like, okay, gotta get a lymphatic drainage massage because it really does make a difference. I love taking time to do this because it's just like throughout the day, we are pulled in so many different directions, everyone. And it's so important to really take care of yourself and like be your own best friend, which Madison Beer, my partner once said. Probably a year ago, I started getting really invested into like a long lengthy skincare regimen because I was just like, how much time am I worth to myself? I'm worth all the time that I need and that I that I want. Lastly, I'm going to moisturize my lips so that it's ready um, for when I put on the look. I'm gonna use the Dior Lip Maximizer. We're going to start makeup. For concealer, I use Rare Beauty. Shout out to Selena. And I just dab it on kind of around my mouth area because I feel like that's always a little more red and then a little in between the forehead. My mom is from the Philippines and her heritage is so all over the place. She is Filipino, Chinese, and Spanish. And so I, from her, have very yellow undertones. And it's hard sometimes, I feel like, to find a color that like actually matches for me because everything goes a little too pink. So it's been really great being able to find like some products that actually match my skin. I love this because it just kind of disappears and just gives you a really flawless finish. And then I take my Bare Minerals Bare Pro, which I love because I have such sensitive skin and their stuff is just so clean and doesn't make me break out. And I just take it and blend it out. I really love this because it's got a great coverage, but you can still see the skin underneath it. I hate when you like can't see skin, but this is great because 
I'm so oily and it just kind of sucks it up and keeps me looking dewy, but not greasy. So next I use bronzer and I just take it in here and I just bring out my cheekbones and I do it underneath my jawline, go down a little onto my neck. Might as well just grab a little bit of the edge of the brush and bring it into the eyes. Okay, so next I'm probably gonna do my brows um, because the brows are the windows to your soul. For brows, I love using this um, Benefit brow because it will give you shape, but it won't leave you with a block eyebrow. I have thick brows, like naturally, but I remember one time a makeup artist did my brows and uh, I looked in the mirror afterwards and I was like, wow, that is a look. I just don't like a super thick, chunky brow. I think that like, to me, the most beautiful thing is natural beauty. So using makeup to really amplify that, but not cover up what makes you you is to me the most beautiful. Normally I have so much music playing while I'm doing my makeup and I'm, I'm dancing while I do it. It's just more fun. I feel like my girlfriend recently told me that it's like I live my life as if I'm in a musical. <laughs> no, like I mean that you are not wrong. You are not wrong there. I use this brow gel that I'm obsessed with. Um, it's by Patrick Ta called Major Brow Lamination Gel. I have very unruly brows and they move around a lot, so I need something that's actually going to hold them. And this totally does the trick. Next, I'm going to start building out my eyes. I'm going to use this NARS palette. It's called Uninhibited, since it is a girl's night out. I think I'm gonna do like a berry kind of look. I'm gonna take this color. I'm just gonna drag it across my whole lid. I started doing my makeup when I was probably six, seven years old. Cause I started doing theater at such an early age. And when you're doing theater, it's literally like, there's not a makeup artist or anything, so. My mom would do my makeup and I just remember being fascinated by it and loving it so much. So she actually enrolled me into a class at Mac. <laughs> I was probably 10 years old, the only child in the class naturally, but I remember just watching and feeling so cool to be surrounded by all these adults that loved makeup and, <laughs> and learned like how to highlight and like contour cheekbones, I remember. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and take that same color and just bring it under my eyes a little bit. Just like focusing right on the crease and corner of my eye and just dragging it across and focusing there as well and dragging it across and then just pulling it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna highlight around here in this color and just slide it across. I'm going to put concealer on under my eyes. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty. I just like using my fingers. I'm a very much a just get in there type of person. I'm just gonna take the powder one and just bring it kind of onto my apple of my cheeks. Don't be afraid of blush. I think because my skin is so oily, it eats blush. I like taking a little bit and just brushing it over the top of my nose because then it looks like natural kind of sun-kissed. I love putting products everywhere. So I'm gonna take the blush and I'm gonna put it onto my eye as well. Since we're going out, we don't mind a little drama. I'm gonna use um, the Glossier highlighter. I love it because it's just like, has the little thing on it. It makes it so easy. I 
I love beauty products so much because I love playing with makeup and I love creating different looks. I'm a big fan of just going into Sephora and seeing what speaks to me. It's just so fun to try different things. My, my beauty stuff used to be so beautifully organized. I used to have like a little vanity moment at home where everything's just laid out and it looked great. That is not a thing anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little more of that and dab it in the center of my eyes just to make my eyes pop a bit more. So for liner, this is like my go-to. It's always with me. Patrick Ta's Precision Lip Crayon. I love overlining my lips. <laughs> uh, I just, it's so cute to feel like a little brat's doll. I'm going to use this MAC lipstick. She's gotten some love, as you can tell, but she matches my nails. I love dabbing it a little and then taking it onto my cheeks just to pull the color in together. And like, it's so great when you're out because you just put some lipstick on and then take a little off your lips and rub it onto your cheeks and then you're rosy again. I'm gonna go back in with this palette. I'm gonna take the brown and I'm just gonna put it into the crease of my eye just to really pop it out. When I do my makeup for an event, like if I'm like, I don't need to hire a makeup artist, I'll just do it. I will do a lot and it will feel like I have so much makeup on and then I'll do the carpet and I look at the pictures and I'm like, looks natural, it looks natural, which is kind of frustrating. And I still haven't figured out how to not do that. It's like a fun going out night. I'm gonna use this little pod by NARS and it just like pops. Rare Beauties liner, um, Perfect Strokes. And I just take the edge of it and I place it down and I just pull it straight across. I'm a big fan of Q-tips. Next, I'm gonna put on mascara. I really like the head on it. It's like a little comb for your lashes. I remember sitting in my mom's closet when I was probably very young. And she used to be a sales representative for Mary Kay. For everyone out there who doesn't know what Mary Kay was, it would be household representatives who would go door to door and sell the makeup, and my mom did that. So she had this kit of makeup in her closet, and it was all the different foundations, all the different lipsticks, and I would just sit there and put all the different things on my hands and on my face. I just loved it. I hope that my kids play with my makeup when I'm not looking. Okay, so next I'm going to take this Diamond Bomb by Fenty. My Bare Minerals again and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Since I have this little pimple, because I'm human, and we all break out, I take my Freck Beauty Noir, and I just take it. See my little beauty mark. I'm gonna use this Christian Dior lipstick. And lastly, I love my Mason Margiela replica by the fireplace. It is just the perfect, sexy, sensual scent that is genuinely intoxicating. I think that's me. I feel good, I feel ready. I'm gonna go get dressed and hit the town with my ladies. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks, folks.